Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video, anti-aging facial mask. This is a facial mask that is loaded with vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C. It is loaded with minerals, a whole heap of antioxidants. This is also a mask that I'm calling a complete mask. I'm using ingredients that are known to tighten and firm the skin to boost the collagen production while getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines. Boosting the collagen production is actually smoothing out the skin and once the skin is smooth, guess what? The wrinkles and fine lines is going to be a bye-bye. I'm using some really interesting ingredients, some that you are so familiar with and one that I really never use much on my channel. However, it is really, really and truly a wonderful wonderful ingredient, especially for tightening and firming that skin. So if you're interested in today's video, continue watching. Now in this recipe, I'm going to be using banana and banana has anti-aging benefit. It is loaded with vitamin A and vitamin E, which is perfect for getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines. Banana is also great for getting rid of spots and blemishes on the skin. So using banana in this recipe is going to work wonders on your skin. Our next ingredient is aloe vera gel. And take a look, this is fresh aloe vera gel. Aloe vera is also another wonderful ingredient with vitamins and minerals and antioxidants that is great for your skin. It's gonna get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines and it is also gonna get rid of the spots and blemishes on your skin. Our next ingredient is coffee and I'm using coffee powder and coffee is also another wonderful ingredient for the skin. Coffee is going to help to brighten the skin. It's going to get rid of the spots and blemishes. It's going to leave your skin just looking radiant and supple. Coffee also helps to boost the collagen production, therefore plumping up the skin and leave your skin just young, fresh and glowing. Our final ingredient is coconut oil and coconut oil is very moisturizing. It is also great for getting rid of spots and blemishes on the skin. It's going to keep the skin just hydrated, supple, soft and radiant. Now if you have regular skin, go ahead and use the coconut oil. However, I have an optional ingredient. If you have oily skin, use some lemon juice instead of the coconut oil. For this recipe, you're also going to need a blender since we're going to be doing some blending. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to prepare our banana and I'm using a half of a large ripe banana. So we're just going to peel our banana. And here it is. I'm going to chop this in small pieces for easier blending. Now I'm going to just place the banana in the blender and I'm using about two ounces of the fresh aloe. What I'm going to do, I'm going to extract the gel and right here is the gel. So I'm just going to take my knife and basically peel away the outer skin. To do that is pretty easy. Just cut the sides like I'm showing here. And this is what it looked like with the sides cut. And then I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to go right under. Now here I get rid of the upper part and now we have the bottom peel. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to go right under. And here we have the fresh aloe vera gel. Now, no need to cut this. I'm just going to drop this in the blender with the banana. Next, I'm reaching for my coffee powder. And I'm going to use about a, a tablespoon of the coffee powder. I'm going to add it to the blender with the banana and the aloe vera gel. Next, I'm going to take about a half a teaspoon of our 
coconut oil and I'm gonna add this to the mix. At this stage, if you're using lemon, go ahead and use a half a teaspoon of lemon instead of the coconut oil. And now we are gonna blend our Wrinkle Fighting Dark Spots Remover Facial Mask. And here we have it. This is it. Take a look at our facial mask. And this is it. Now I'm gonna move on the other side and I'm gonna show you how to use this wonderful goodness on your skin. So here we have our banana coffee coconut mask and I've used this before guys so I'm pretty excited to share it with you. Now for this facial mask I would recommend that you wash your face with some warm water or choose to steam your face before you use this. When you steam your face or you wash your face with the warm water what is going to happen your pores are going to be open and once those pores are open they are now ready to just drink this facial mask in which is further going to help to plump the skin. It's going to have to shrink those pores. It's going to moisturize because it's just penetrating deep into the skin, boots in that collagen production, getting rid of the wrinkles and the fine lines. Now, if you're not going to use all of this at once, just pour a little in a container so you could dip in freely without contaminating the rest. Cover it and keep it in the refrigerator. I'm going to use my hands for this application. Now, this is not a thick facial mask. It's very thin, it's very light. So you want to give it a little star before you apply. Take it up on your hands and then apply it to the skin in circular motion. And here we go. And how does this feel on the skin? Very soft. It's just like gliding on the skin, okay? Now you want to make sure to totally cover your entire face with this facial mask. And let me come up closer for you to see what is happening. So just apply it, be generous with it, all over the skin. I like to play with this, to be honest. The smell of it is very good, very refreshing, especially if you like coffee a lot. You could actually use this facial mask on your skin and get rid of some calories. You know, if you like to have your coffee, with a lot of cream and all of that whipped cream and all these kind of things. If you're trying to lose some weight, use this facial mask. <laughs> because just by smelling it, it will fill full that coffee crave. However, I know for some people, when they smell things, they want it right away. So it could go both ways. It could help as well as this could be a bad idea for your coffee lovers. All right, so now my face is completely covered. Don't forget the neck and decollete area. Now once your face is covered with the facial mask, now guys, this is not a facial mask that is gonna come to a complete dry, okay? It's gonna sit on the skin, it's gonna penetrate the skin, but it's still gonna be a little soft, okay? So sit with it for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you're gonna rinse this wonderful goodness off, and what is gonna happen is gonna leave just bright, clear, beautiful, radiant skin, no joke. Let me show you something just now. Just take my finger and do one clean line. Look at that. See what I'm talking about? One clean line. And that is coffee. Check my skin out, guys without rinsing off. So this is definitely a wonderful facial mask. So I'm gonna sit with mine for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna rinse off and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you my Okay, so now that I rinse my face, I'm gonna take a little of my oil and as I said, just use your favorite oil or moisturizer. Rub it in your hands and just apply it to the skin. Now take a look at my skin before I put the oil on it. Look at that. Mm, nice. If you like this video,
video, guess what? Leave your thumbs up and leave a comment. Go ahead and try this recipe. I want you all to try it for a week or try what's a matter of fact the very first time you try it you're going to notice a big difference so try it and come back and leave your comment and share the video with friends family because it is really an awesome recipe thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye